Hi there, I'm Sarah, and today's workout of the week is a yoga flow. We're gonna start standing. I know, very different, stay with me. We're gonna go through some sequences, and then we'll be down on the mat. So it's a little bit of everything for this flow today. Have water nearby, do what feels good in your body, and let's flow. We're gonna start in mountain pose. So I'm gonna start with my feet apart today. My hands turned out facing forward. I'm gonna roll my shoulders forward, up towards my ears, and then back and down. I'm gonna shift my weight back to my heels for a moment, lift up my toes, spread them out, and make sure I have a nice wide base. I'm gonna tuck my tailbone under so it shoots towards the floor. My gaze will be straight ahead, and if it feels comfortable, close your eyes. Just start to notice the breath. Is it shallow? Are you purposely making it deep already? Just noticing where it's going and how your body feels in the standing posture today. If your eyes are closed, keep them closed. Inhale, arms overhead. Gaze up towards the ceiling, eyes closed or open. And then on the exhale, cactus your arms for a tiny back bend, just a mini one to start. Inhale, back up. Get tall. Exhale, cactus. More like that, tall. And cactus. Inhale, tallest one yet. Come up on your toes, even if it's slightly, feel a little shimmer and shake and then send them back down, arms go towards your sides. Blink open your eyes if they were closed. Hands come to your heart, inhale, and we'll twist to the right. Inhale, center, and twist towards left. Inhale, center, this time add in the arms, twist towards the right, one goes forward, one goes back. Inhale, back to center, exhale, other direction. Inhale, arms come tall, and palm tree over to one side, whatever side your body calls to. Maybe we look the same, maybe we look different. Inhale, back center, and palm tree the other way. Continue to sway this tree, one side to the next. What do you need from your practice today? Does it need to be a challenge? It needs to be a challenge. Inch those toes together, big toes touch. Heels slightly apart, maybe arm drops. Does it need to be with a little care and a little grace? Don't go as far. Last one, each direction. And then make your way to the top of the yoga mat. If you're not there, I'm gonna switch, so I'll be at the side of you all. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, first forward fold, gentle knee bend. Being mindful of your lower back. How does it feel today? Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back. And lower all the way down onto the mat for this first one. Inhale, we go baby cobra. Exhale, back through hands and knees and then up to downward facing dog. Let's do a, a true vinyasa if you're ready for it. Inhale, forward to plank. Maybe wiggle out your hands like I had to. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. You can always go back to that cobra that we did the first time. Our exhale brings us back to downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk, hop, step your hands, your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, brings us all the way up. Feet can be together or apart. Exhale, right back down. We're gonna go through that same series one more time. Sun A, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. If you're hopping, land with soft elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come super high on your toes. And then like you're wearing the world's tallest high heels, tiptoe your toes forward to meet your hands. 
Inhale, halfway, brings you up. Exhale, fold, here's the change. Inhale, chair. Sink your hips low, weight goes back into your heels. Peek on down before you bring your arms up. Make sure you can see your toes. And if you can't, send your hips back more. And then hands can come to heart or all the way up towards your ears, making this lightning bolt shape with your body. It's not meant to be easy, so if your thighs are already feeling it, that's okay. You're a human. Congratulations. <laughs> Sink lower. For three, two, fold it forward, and one. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Hop, step it back. Take it through your flow. These are totally optional. So you can take it through this upward facing and downward facing, or just meet us in downward facing dog each time. Inhale, your right leg high, keeping your hips square towards the floor, just for a breath, and then open it up. Keeping your shoulders still square, can you circle your knee? Make a huge circle with that knee, and then go the other way. Restraighten, and then step it through for warrior two. Sorry, warrior one, I'm getting ahead of myself. Front foot forward, back foot turned at an angle slightly, Dragging your right hip back, left hip forward, hands come up for this strong warrior pose. The first one we hold, just to set up, just to train that muscle memory, this is where we're gonna come back to. One more inhale up, maybe lift your gaze, hands come down, vinyasa, or right back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Keep it squared to start. And then open up that hip and do your circles. One direction and then the other. Re-extend, re-square your hips and then step it through for warrior one on the left. Turn down your right heel, up to stand when you're ready. Deep knee bend through this front leg, straight and strong through the back and that back foot is turned in. Like at a 45 degree angle. This time, left hip pull back, right hip pulls forward, tuck that tail under, and then arms come up. Warrior one. One more inhale, maybe lift your gaze. And then exhale, using your whole exhale, brings you back down to your vinyasa where we all meet in downward facing dog. We'll do that series one more time, one breath, one movement. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, just one breath. How low can you sink in that one breath? Exhale, relax. Inhale, lift. Exhale, flow. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, brings you up. And your exhale returns you to the earth. As soon as you get back to downward facing dog, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it through. Inhale brings you up. Using the length of your exhale, brings you down. Downward facing dog. Now stay in downward facing dog or drop into a child's pose, grab a quick sip of water. Knees can be wide, arms can be active or reach behind. In your downward facing dog, straight legs, straight arms, hips high. Can you press your chest towards your thighs and feel that heart opening? Everyone will rejoin us in our downward facing dog. Then you're gonna drop your forearms to the mat. You can do it from your knees, it's not a big deal. Make your arms in the shape of an 11, or if you have tight shoulders, you can interlace your fingers, pressing your pinkies flat on the earth. 
Elbows stay super close together, so shoulder distance at the most. And then we pop our hips up and we find dolphin. So for dolphin, we walk our feet together and towards our body. You're on your toes. And then we're gonna add one leg left. Slowly lower, don't let gravity do its job. And then the other leg left. So pressing through your forearms, pressing through your fist if you have it. Hips stay square the whole time. Pulling your core nice and tight, belly button towards your back. And we walk out this dolphin. Two more each leg. The height you lift your legs, totally up to you. One more each leg. And then from here, we press up to a plank, readjust yourself, and then super slow motion, can you lower onto your mat? In three, two, one. Rest one ear to the side. Let your feet turn out for a moment. Rest your neck, rest your upper body. Take a deep breath. And then switch the ear that's turned, turn the other one and relax the same way. And then energetically, we'll zip our legs together, zip together that mermaid tail and come up for Sphinx. So arms back to that number 11, pressing through your forearms, through your palms, heart is shining forward, driving your inner thighs towards each other. And if they don't touch, that's okay, but have it be in your mind, that's where they're going. If you want more, come on up to Upward Facing Dog for the hold. And it would be hands come down, press on up, thighs come off the floor, still shine your heart forward. I think it feels perfectly great today in the Sphinx. I'm gonna come back down, stay right here, take a couple more deep breaths. Squeezing those thighs together, and then come on down, forehead to the mat, interlace your fingers behind your back, and now everything's gonna look, lift for Shalabhasana. So here it is, we lift up, our legs lift, our hands lift. If you can't get the bind, just have your palms face the floor. That's okay. Everything's lifting, everything's squeezing towards your midline. We hold for three, two, and one. Relax it, pick an ear, look one direction, Your option to stay that way or bend your knees, do what we just did, or go into belly down bow. Reaching for your feet. I love to give a little bit of a quad stretch right here before I come up. Then on my next inhale, I'm gonna press into my feet, press into my ankles with my hands and lift up for belly down bow. Now you can rock forward and back. If you're in the bow, Bring your thighs towards the midline is always challenging for me. Maybe you can gaze up, kick a little harder for three, two, and one. Relax the other ear down. Maybe windshield wiper those feet side to side. And then press it up just to tabletop. So hands and knees. Then you take your left hand behind your ear and open it up. We're gonna start the twist today at the top of the body. Thread the needle all the way down. Can your shoulder get to the mat? Maybe it gets to a pillow or a blanket. And my left shoulder and my left ear is on the floor. I'm gonna move over because I feel like my length is out of camera here. <laughs> so you can see the whole thing. This right arm can stay as a kickstand. It can reach out in front, so a little bit more balance involved, or reach it up and reach it around for a little bit more. For this thread the needle, deep shoulder opening. And as always, do what feels good for you. If this is too much with the bind, reverse it. 
Use the kickstand to take a little pressure off your shoulder. Come on up and switch to the other side. Right arm comes behind your ear, lift it up and through. Shoulder, right ear comes down, right shoulder comes down, kickstand, reach it out, or find the bind up, around, and over. To readjust my shoulder a little bit here so I feel a good type of stretch. And then unwind, press right back to this tabletop. We're gonna go for a bear pose. So tuck your knees under. We're gonna engage for these lower abdominals in your core. And all it is is you simply lift your knees off the mat, which sounds really simple, but keeping a flat back, lift your knees like an inch or two off the mat. This first one we're just gonna hold for three, two, and one. Set it down. Notice what your belly did. Did it drop towards the earth or did it round completely? That was dramatic but keep your back flat, we're gonna do it again. So flatten out your back. Picture there's like, you could serve some tea and coffee on top there. And then tuck your toes and lift. Just a couple inches, it's not huge. Can you walk it out? Lift one, lift the other. Returning to that perfect flat back each time. If the walk does not feel good, stay in the hold. If the hold doesn't feel good, Drop one and then lift one. You're still working those same muscles. I'm gonna stay here for five, your variation. Four, three, two, send it back. Downward facing dog for one. Inhale, right leg comes high. Exhale, step it through. We're gonna set up for pigeon. So right leg comes forward. Right shin, I say parallel to the top of the mat. Mine's nowhere near parallel. Yours is parallel, fantastic. That's what we're kind of going for eventually with some hip opening. Before you lay down, especially if you do this a lot, pull your right hip back, send your left leg forward, or send your left hip forward. Take a peek back, make sure your left leg is long and straight behind you, that it's not off at a weird angle. And then sit up tall, as tall as you can in this. And then fold it forward. So a lot of times we do this, we just collapse into pigeon and then we like lean on the hip one way or the other, trying to keep it square in the center. We just have five breaths here, so really try to relax. And if you have tight hips, I know that's probably the worst thing to hear is just relax. Three more big breaths. Last one, press back up right from where we came. Now, can you use your hands, engage your core, tuck your back foot and lift that leg off and send it back into a three-legged down dog. Wiggle it out, shake it out, do what you need to do and then set it down and we're simply gonna go into the left. Left leg lifts, bring it forward in that same type of pace. Sit up tall first, flex to your left foot Pull that left hip back, right hip forward. Check out what my leg did. It went all the way to the side. I wanted to shoot it straight behind me. And then I sink. I get tall and then I fold it forward. And once again, it's just five big breaths. So it's like a hurry up and relax. Big breath. One more in, same challenge, plant those hands, use your core, can you tuck your right back toe, lift that left leg up and then send it back intentionally for that single leg, downward facing dog, roll it out, stretch it out. And then all we're gonna do is walk it on through to a seat and lay it all the way down, hugging your knees in towards your chest for our final Spinal twist, dropping your knees to the right. You can cross them, you can stack them. Today's focus, left shoulder on the floor. So even if that means your leg has to come up a little bit, 
put your left shoulder on the floor. Right hand can guide this left leg down to touch. And then bring your gaze to the left. Big breath. Challenging in the twist. One more. Switch it out other side. Knees come together, come in. They go to the left. Gaze to the right. Focus on that right shoulder first. So right shoulder drops, gaze goes to the right, and then we worry about that top leg. Finding that twist. Left hand is there to guide you. Big inhale. Bring it back to center. Give yourself one final squeeze. Everything in, inhale. Everything, let it go. Exhale, don't skip this part. It's the best part of practice. Shavasana. Take a moment for yourself. You've arrived. Let your body enjoy all the pieces and parts that it worked during this practice today and just be, just for a moment. And pick your favorite side to roll on to, resting your head in your arm. If it's comfortable, keep your eyes closed as you press up to a comfortable seat. Hands down by your side. We'll do one last inhale together. Inhale, arms come up over the top. Press your hands together. Hands come to heart center. And then to your third eye, space in between your eyebrows. The light in me honors and bows to the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.